G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Hey, another day, another video. Well, I've just been finished watching Critical Think's ranty video. The deception doesn't doesn't stop there. I mean, I posted an image twice today on my on my um, on my YouTube feed, you know, for everyone to have a look at, because I couldn't believe the first time that the Globers just didn't see what was wrong with the blood. Because there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> The image. I mean, it was ridiculous. I had to actually put it up a second time and say, I can't believe Globus actually don't understand what's wrong with this image. At uh, first glance, uh, <laughs> all I, I, could, I could see that there was probably a mismatch, maybe with uh, the size of the moon. The light source didn't match. The geometry didn't look quite right as that being the edge of a sphere. Those the are moon. good valid points, Carlos. The moon is not that close and it's not that big. <laughs> it's just no way. And the source says this is a real image. And hey, mate. Randy really doesn't have much idea. I love that he just does not understand optics at all. Sorry, Randy, it's true. You provide the evidence. I've made the accusation in the past that flat earthers don't understand optics. I think this is um, good evidence for that statement. A flat earther could never have invented this because a flat earther doesn't understand optics. Fuck off, you prick. What a... Uh... <laughs> But anyway, if you haven't already subscribed to Critical Think, as one of the Wolfpackers, he's great. He really should. Go on, trust me, get in there and subscribe. Ranty and his crew are having problems playing with Google Earth. It seems that Ranty doesn't understand Google Earth either. Identical, minimal. That yeah, tells you nothing's that perfectly flat. That tells you that they're making a difference, a specific difference between land and Earth curvature flatness versus globe. No, let, let me explain to you slowly. Let me explain no, you to don't you. have to explain to me. Well, you're me doing because you're not well. understanding it. You're not understanding it as usual. I am understanding it. No, you're not. No, you're not. Fine. You never understand anything. You're always wrong, Randy. Just remember that. And well, then I'm we don't need to waste right. time with your That's explanation. That's all you need to remember. You want to understand anyway, no, I'm you. always right, and you're always wrong. <laughs> and I'll explain to you why. Oh, boy. No, you won't. Nice, Randy. He, he just got glow busted. That was it. Oh, wow. That was his shortest yet. That was nice. Perfect. Now, Brandon Toy, he's Ranty Light, the new Ranty. Well, he was doing this thing with Google Earth, and I really wished Ranty had been paying attention because I'm sure he would have been able to put Brandon straight because Brandon was making a mistake that Ranty made a few months ago. And Ranty made a proper mess of it. He was up in arms and claiming that conspiracy cats had it all wrong. And it turned out it was Ranty who was wrong all along. Who could ever believe it? Oh, that's right. We all could, couldn't we? So let's see. I'm going to go 90 degrees here. That's what we were doing this the other day. But I think this has something to do with the sunset angles. If I go 90 degrees from Australia, I get to Central America. That makes sense, doesn't it, guys? Anyway, Ranty would have been able to tell Brandon, Hey, mate, you're making a great circle line. That's why the heading keeps changing all the, light, all the way along it. What you need is a room line. Here, look, have a look at this excellent video by Wolfie6020. He'll tell us exactly where we got wrong because he's a pilot and he flies around the globe and he knows how to do it. He hasn't failed yet because he's still here. Brandon, what you need to do is go and watch this video that where everything was explained to Ranty. Now Ranty knows all about it, and now you will too. Oh, and maybe ask Ranty, while he's sitting at home picking at his stitches, why doesn't he make that, um, he's now got time to make that apology video for Conspiracy Cats. You know, the one where he said Cats was all wrong, and he wasn't, and you really should apologize. So in this video, we're going to look at four basic concepts. The first one being the great circle. A great circle is the shortest distance between two points on a sphere. So if we are navigating around the surface of the earth, which is a sphere, flying a great circle will be the shortest way to travel. The second point is a rum line. A rum line is a line on a sphere that is crossing lines of longitude at the same angle. They can be quite different to a great circle depending upon where you are on the Earth. But as we will see, there are in fact a number of great circles that are also rum lines. Anyway, what Ranty tried to do was debunk conspiracy cats 
by drawing a line from Sydney to Santiago on Google Earth. Let's just play a short part of his video. Uh, at the bottom here we have Santiago and up at the top there we have Sydney. So let's scroll in, let's, let's have a look at this. So here we have Santiago, there we go, there's Santiago. And let's have a look, let's follow the red line point A to point B. Um, so this is, uh, this is on a globe earth by the way. Um, and here we have Sydney, so there we have Sydney. So Santiago to Sydney. Now, Conspiracy Cat said that the the red line that he put in is anything but the quickest route on a globe. Um, hmm. Well, 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 well. What do we have here? Here we have Santiago, and here we have Sydney. Now, I now, Ranty, what you have there is a great circle. It goes south of New Zealand. This line went north of New Zealand. They're not even close to the same route. This is a rumb line. This is a great circle. This line is the shortest distance between those two points. This one is not. Conspiracy Cats was 100% correct and you don't understand the difference between a rumb line and a great circle. Another flat earth fail. Oh look Randy, no hard feelings. It's just a bit of fun we're laughing at you i mean with you we're just having a bit of fun but mate i've got a challenge for you seeing as you like to think you know what google earth is all about and how it works why don't you jump into google earth and let's measure a distance here go to zero zero so that's latitude zero zero just off the west coast of africa now zip right along the equator till you get to the other side of the world now what happens when you get to the other side? What happens with that great circle line, mate? Why is it doing this? Holy dooly, what the heck is going on there, mate? Now, if that hasn't done your head in, do you think you can explain to us what is going on? It's perfectly okay, of course. I just wonder if you can work it out. Oh, Ranty and Brandon, you're not allowed to cheat by asking the rumpus either, okay?